Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to what is probably going to be a terrible bloodbath. We have gone to another map. We got a race over here. Everything's lovely. Over here, well, everything's lovely except we don't have any power because of this EMI dynamo thing that is causing us some issues. Um, and we didn't bring EMP grenades with us, so I don't love how this might go. Also, are we going to be fighting near boomlopes? That's not good. Are these going to wake up when we engage in this? I assume that's the case. Which means we can't really run in melee that. Although we can run in melee this stuff. Because it has a minimum range. Although these guys don't. And they might explode. I don't know. That might just have to be the way it goes. Okay, at the risk of getting boom loped. Okay, trying to spread around here to reduce the damage. These boom loops are so inconveniently placed. All right, you guys are going to go and hit that. Attack this. Actually, attack that one and attack this one. We don't need to attack this as long as we stay in the minimum range. And killing these is actually the higher priority. Okay. Move there. Move, 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 move. Sophia. No, what the hell are you. Oh my god, it's because of the fire? Wait. Well, okay, we took surprisingly little damage. I'm kind of shocked. But I guess we'll take it. That keeps... Oh, no, he's firing down here. You guys need to spread out. Let me move a little. Oh, all right. I mean, it's taking some damage, certainly not as quickly as I would like. My mailers, I'm going to actually tell you to just go and search and destroy so you target automatically as things die. All right, see if you can move. Move? Maybe? Maybe? Man, these pawns are dumb. We're going to melee. There could be friendly fire because we're not within five tiles. But there we go. We need this. Did you guys seriously not finish off this turret? You are right next to it. I'm appalled. Also, apparently the search and destroy range is not leading them to try anything here. Mailers go, although we have to watch for this thing exploding. Okay, right, hold on. Pull back. Faster. Spear. There we go. Okay. So everyone's super happy. You know, unrestrict you guys. Bonds, who's not currently injured. I'm gonna punch this. Oh. Do this. Oh, um. If I go and sleeping spot. We did bring medicine with us. And then I do this and flag that for medical. And reset smogger. Actually, I'm going to reset everyone. Nice aiming there, Hope. You got a shooting school of 12. How are you missing this? Hey, you're just in a wander mood too. Okay. Die, die, die. Okay, I think that was an explosion that doesn't damage us. It did give us zero time to respond to it. I think that's the case. Okay, we're going to pack up and leave now. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to bring the centipede with us, but I don't know that I care. Reform, go there. 
travel supplies, you've got everything. And over here, we're going to bring components, steel, glass steel. And yeah, you're too heavy, but we can bring the Militor. And this mechnoid that maybe we could deconstruct it there. I don't know. We'll bring it with us. And it's going to be okay. I guess if you can bring some steel chunks and some more. Okay. And yeah, you'll get there in no time. And now we've got power back over here. Okay. I thought that was going to be much worse than it did. I mean, it still didn't, didn't go beautifully, but no one died. Right. We want to start producing chem fuel so that we can start to make artillery. Probably could go with more efficient packing of some things over here to fit more things in. Oh, you have to be moved there. And then what we're gonna do is we're going, no, reinstall, sorry, build copy. There we are. Oh, Odette's gonna do it, nice. And then if I do that, if I were to reinstall you here, and then the drug lab can go there oh, once things get moved. Thanks, Odette. You're such a useful little child. There. Caravan has arrived. Thank you very much. This is for our incomplete things. Uh, you know what? We're going to get rid of these. I think we're researching more and more things where this doesn't apply to anymore. Vitals monitor? I would love a vitals monitor built, please. And then, yeah, we'll confirm. I think it might still work on all these beds. We'll double check, but I think the vitals monitor still can do eight things at once. So it should work, but we'll see. Major Burke risk? Yeah, well, I mean, you're, you're in pain. Oh, yeah, you still don't like that you're wielding the club. Um, your ideology, what's the deal with the weapons? You want ultra tech. All right, tell you what I'm going to do. Just to fix your mood, I'm going to tell you to not wield the club. You're going to go unarmed for a little bit. Where? Yeah, Sophia, you just be there. Be unarmed for a little while to try to help your mood. And meanwhile, also... Oh, you're still on bi biphasic schedule. Okay, we're going to try to do that just to try to keep your mood up a little bit more. I mean, in theory, you got a mood boost because we defeated me the mech cluster, but yeah, it's pretty tiny. You're unhappy about the conversions. Refugees are leaving. That's fine. And then, yeah, we still got Sophia out of it, who's a great fighter. Okay, so now uh, one is done. So now, yeah, production, biofuel, go. Need more components. Yeah, we're ripping through all the components on the map super fast. I just want to mine all the components. Sure. Quest completed. Destitute survivors. Yep, okay, they left the map. They're fine, and who knows? We might get a reward later on. And they didn't turn and attack me, which I'm very pleased about. Uh, Nano-infused components, yes, and then fabrication. So we can make our own. Basic mech tech. So now we can have a mech recharger I'll put over here now that's going to produce pollution packs which um pollution no that's pump waste packs that's what they're called toxic waste packs you know what I'm going to clear everything other than toxic waste packs and make it critical over here so it can sit in the freezer and no other space will get used by anything else so then we're also going to have to start flinging things in the space. Or, well, at our, at our neighbors is what's going to happen, which is why we also need the biofuel refinery. Masterwork chair, good. Okay. Now, we might need less seating now that we have somewhat fewer people, but I don't think I'm going to complain about having all these over here. And yeah, now we have some spare bench rooms. Um, immolator, I'm going to tell you that that's your bed. So you do have the, your own room bonus. Okay, so all the bedrooms are utilized. But I mean, again, the people who slept in the fancy barracks, right, are okay. Oh, now you have decent bedrooms. So, uh, But if we take a look at, uh, let's say, oh, Smogger. Take a look at Smogger. You have no modifiers about the bed stuff. See, they're getting disturbed sleep, but it only stacks to three. 
extremely impressive barracks. So we're only netting a minus one from sleeping in the barracks, and we're saving so much material. Like, it's just so efficient. Honestly, maybe this is more interesting than my cookie cutter bedrooms, which are kind of bland, especially if I'm not doing carpet stuff. I don't know. Okay, making the medicine, masterwork, dining. Okay, that's good. Took us so many times to get the masterwork table. Well, didn't he still didn't end up masterwork? Just excellent. Okay, we got our panoxiclin. Right, we've got our AC now for this room. It's good, because yeah, it was really roasty toasty in there. We got the extra batteries. Mech charger is up. Yeah, auto repair as well. Yeah, you're gonna need some energy soon. Okay. It is. It's very hot. Actually, our cooler is having a hard time. Now, we don't have it doubled walled. We don't have it airlocked. And actually, people are walking through this quite a bit. It's still small enough that it's not really an issue, but let's get in there. Well, first of all, what I could do with these two guys is I could have them target a little bit lower. Um, they won't really maintain it, but it'll give us a bigger buffer for times when we do get a power failure or when the doors open and close. Just make sure the, the, the freezer doesn't break, but... Mostly, we should probably go ahead and do a more sturdy freezer or something. I don't know. It's just, it's really hot outside right now. It's the only issue. And that's going to be fixed soon. Hopefully, no one lost any body parts in all that raid. Shredded neck, kidneys. Ooh, that is pretty rough. Uh, that's that mech node, which I think we can just deconstruct, right? This doesn't generate power. Yeah, the mech nodes are the things that can explode. Yeah, we just deconstructed it for some materials. So that's going to be fine. Those components, they have been mined. Yeah, and that still has to come. We do have some components. There we go. Four just got used, but I would suspect its spear is starting to work on the heavy SMG, which is A-OK. -okay. Um, Subcore encoder. Mech gestator. I can go there. Okay. Maybe want a different space for this. I'm actually wondering about converting this bedroom into just another workshop and just doing more of these beds in here. Can I move this? No, that's a shame. But yeah, a cleaning bot. Although with the two kids doing nothing else right now, the cleaning's being handled, but I, li I like the idea of one hauler, one cleaning bot. I think it's going to do wonderful things for us. So Sophia's still pretty cranky. I mean, we need our newer superchargers. That's the other thing I could do if I change these rooms into something else. Well, this can't be moved either. I might have put that in an awkward spot. So we're going to say... Not... I don't think organics. Yeah, foods and stuff. Although we do have a lot of excess food right now. Do chem fuel from wood. Do until X. Is it like 150 for like the max charge, I think, on the launcher or something like that? I don't know. But then the big thing is over here, we're also going to do high explosive shells. Do until X, where this is... I don't remember what these stack do or how many we fire. I think we often want quite a lot. It's maybe a little early for like a ridiculously high number. I'm going to say 25. I'm also going to unforbid the uh, mortar blueprints here so we can finally get them going. We haven't gotten a siege yet, which is good. Because we didn't have those. Okay. I don't think we need the aggra hand. But one lifter, one clean sweep. In fact, I want the clean sweep first. I build one of each of those. Smogger has inc... Oh. Hello. Your crafting's not great. Do we just want you to construct something legendary? Let's have you build a new double bed. Yeah, come over here. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Okay. Harvest some fully grown trees, please. I'm wondering if I should do... Should I do the zone trick to just keep things coming regularly? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to make a growing zone over here. Chuka chuka chuka. Disallow sowing. But any fully grown plants in this area will get harvested. So it'll keep a trickle of trees coming in. We still might have to do some manual chops from time to time. 
Well, that's gonna get us started. Uh, shaman merchant. Not a merchant. Odette, can you talk to people and trade? Yeah. We're gonna be outside of the walled area. We could just wait a little bit longer, but. We could sell the alpacas. I mean, I'd probably love more neutromine. You could sell plasteel, huh? The shock lance, we can use this to knock out someone and capture them, especially if they're highly skilled. We could maybe use that to babysit. I'm not sure that I'm going to have to cash to pull this off, though. I'm going to sell you the seed. We'll sell you this yayo. We don't really have anything to sell you. You don't want clothes or anything. Oh. Well. All right, I'll sell the wake up and go juice. I think I want the neutromine more. Anything else I'd like to sell here? Uh, we could sell some of the Ambrosia. We do have one person addicted. But let's say we sell 50 of it. Okay. Then we'll take a little Plasteel. Okay. Done. Good. Now we need two basic subcores, please, for the ribbits. And yeah, I think smithing is the job. That's fine. Um, what was it with spear, right? Yeah, with the mech link? Yeah. So spear obviously has the smithing set to a two, which is fine above everything else. So you'll do mech stuff, and then you'll also do some of these other jobs, including making guns, which we want. Speaking of guns, there's one ready to go. emulator has got a two. You've got a two. Madeline's got a 5.5, so we're going to do that and get you to swap your gun. And then we'll give Immolator this machine pistol, which is not terribly impressive, but it's going to be better than the bow. I don't know if the bow versus the pillow is better. I mean, we could take a look at the stats, but I don't think any of them are going to be too impressive. Uh, if we just look at the damage, 14 damage versus 25. I think this fire's a lot slower, might not have the range, but we'll just leave you with that. Legendary double bed. Perfect. Actually, do I want to move the bed there? No, I like this spot. I'm going to deconstruct this bed. Oh. You're maintaining the stove. Yeah, come over here, deconstruct this. And then we will move this to here. I'll get you to do that right away. And then that's going to be... Hope and hubby. There you are. Legendary bed. Artwork of the minor celebrity Lowell. Mugger lies in the background. The work has a neoclassical feeling and an unbalanced structure. There's a AR, AI art generation mod for RimWorld that will automatically make an image for you for these things, which is very entertaining. All right, I don't know if we want to store the chem fuel in a specific area, like away from the rest of our stockpiles, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, Hope can use her abilities again. We need to use that on Sophia. Oh, we can probably do, hold on. Yeah, the conversion ritual now. Sophia targeted, expectations, that's maxed, that's maxed. Okay. So, 19% chance that it'll be an instant conversion. And a pretty good chance that it'll move us in the right direction. Sorry, you guys can ignore the forbidden door. I mean, maybe I should just replace this with a wall. Huh. That's news to me. All right, Sophia. Just lie there while we, like extol the values of our ideology of why arco technology is so cool and badass come on instant conversion and that was effective all right so yeah we'll have to use a few more cooldowns to finish this conversion go wall build thanks constructoid There's the wood outside it's a little inconvenient but sure your energy is quite low auto repair there was You just, I'm, I think you just go when you're, maybe you go when you're below 10. 
pretty sure you do it automatically, right? There wasn't... There's not a schedule for charging. You must just go on your own. And this... Oh. Oh, there you go. Recharge at 5%. There it is. I mean, maybe I want to send you sooner. We have had problems occasionally with bots suddenly running low on power, especially, you know what? And this is going to matter right now, but especially in situations where we don't have maybe enough chargers for all the bots, if they wait at last minute and all of them decide to go at once, someone might not be able to get a charge and run out. But if they go when they're at 10, and then if it's filled up, then it's okay, because they've got a larger window to wait for it. I think that's not a bad idea. Any parties? Oh yeah, we can do this Jubilee. We could have someone join us. There you go. So it's 80% chance to run into the window where it can have someone join us. So we've got an overall a 40% chance from this ritual to have a new person join. Hopefully they're not garbage. Inst, 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 inst. What is it? It was one of the uh, the alpha memes that we used that had like ridiculously loud music, didn't it? Well, there you go. Wanderer joined. So we we want to accept because otherwise people will get very cranky. We could have them have an accident. Where did you? Oh, there you are. Io, psychically deaf, pyromaniac, jealous. Okay, there's two different reasons why this person's really annoying. Psychically deaf is fine. Pyromaniac, um, I am running the better Pyromania mod. So uh, Cisneros over here isn't going to have a random break, even at like 100% mood. Pyromaniacs in vanilla can have a random mood break to start setting fires. And it's not the fires that's the problem. It's if you're in the middle of the battle, then all of a sudden someone just decides to leave. That's annoying. Jealous is frustrating because they always want the best room. Greedy is fine. They just want a fancy room. Jealous is they want the best. I am going to suggest that Megumi Cisneros over here is not a winner. Therefore, I'm going to have you go stand out here. Hope, could you, uh, could you come over here, please? Let's have you, um, just quickly drop things. Good. Come over here out of cover, you know, for no particular reason. Come on, Hope. Thank you. Now, we will get a mood debuff if the colonist dies. But it won't be too bad because no one's friends with them. In 13 hours. Can you get him a little closer to death? Actually, let me pull back a little. Okay, um, hang on. I'm going to make sure everyone stays in the walled area and do this. So Cisneros here is going to die and bleed to death in, nine, in eight hours now. That's going to be okay. And then I still don't know. I don't remember how the mechanic works. I read about it once and I can't remember the specifics. But if you do have a colonist die, it does give you a reduced strength raid within like within. I think for the next few days, if you get raided, it's going to be less severe or something like that. Because internally, the storyteller is like, oh, things are going bad. I don't even know if it applies to Randy. But the, the thing is, we're going to have a colonist died modifier, but no one's going to have a my friend died. Well, I say that. What if you have a relation with someone? Oh, you weirdly. you're. How are you friends with Odette? Oh, it just happened automatically because physically stunning. Although I suspect it doesn't go the other way around. Yeah. Medical emergency. Three hours. Masterwork, Devil Strand Duster. Oh, wonderful. Excellent. Two hours. One hours. Less than one hours. Okay. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and unrestrict everyone except the kids. There we go. We can do this. Um, right, we can do a funeral. Select a grave considering their body. 
Well, we might just cremate them, in which case what we want is a dummy coffin over here, right? Or no, you know what? We can quickly build a we can quickly build a grave. Why not? And then are you heading out there? Right here, I'm gonna have you head out there now. Prioritize calling. So yeah, see how's your needs? Honest died, minus three. It is six days, but it's such a small debuff. And theoretically, it is gonna be offset. Um prioritize bearing, there we go. It's gonna be offset by us maybe having a nice funeral for them. Oh, we have no idea how they died. Oh, it's so tragic. Maybe we'll end up with a net positive mood buff. I don't know how long the funeral buff lasts. Good, true Requiem, plus five mood for 60. We are netting, netting two mood from this. Excellent. And we didn't bring a problematic person into the base. Cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Although arguably maybe maybe hope is the problematic one. Going out and executing a new joiner. No one ever met them though. If a colonist dies in the woods, do they really die? Alright. Man, we are still churning through these components. Any chance our nearby base over here is ready to be traded with again? No. I might have to do a colony uh, trip way over here. At least we got a road part of the way. We also have to go and get more work towards our artifact rifle. Hmm. That's a good point. Well, thanks, me. I appreciate your appreciation. Oh, we haven't rebuilt. Oh, because we didn't have wood for a while. We don't have any wood in a stockpile right now. Some of it's on the ground. But I suspect we actually do need more wood chopping. And we've got this, which will theoretically regularly cut down some trees. But let's accelerate this. Doe-eyed emus. Oh, take care of five emus. A couple of tech prints. Stone skin gland. Well, we could give this to someone and it'll count as a genetic modification. It does give them a bunch of armor. Does, I don't like that it slows them down. And maybe that's silly, but I don't like that. Psychic reader, psychic sensitizer, some gold. What if we just do it for the two tech prints? which theoretically won't even increase the value of our place. I mean, again, at some point we want to value up so that we can progress through the Arquinexus, but not right now. Let's do it for the Tech Prince. Um, okay, they do get go pens. And let me make sure we have some of these slots flagged for medical. They should all get brought over there at some point by an animal handler, presumably. So, why cone over here? If I reset you? Hmm. This is a doctoring thing. Now, new infused component. Okay, we have to spend way less time maintaining all our electronics now. And now we're researching fabrication so that we can make components. What job is it? Okay, I mean, admittedly, you are hungry. Rope roaming, rebalance, tame. Okay, emulator's doing it. Maybe it's medical. That might be it. Medic and emulator's the only person with doctoring turned on. It'd be great to have a backup doctor if we can train one of the kids. Actually, I think we gave it to Odette. Okay, more heavy SMG is done. Okay, Reich, we're gonna give you this. Emulator still just has the um, the machine pistol, but I think I'm probably fine with that. As again, that was chewing through a lot of components, but for good reason. Megumi, there we go, is being picked up. Perfect. Okay, traps being built. That's good, too, as we get that wood in. I guess we're consuming a bunch of wood for the chem fuel, but now that job is done. Well, until we start making some more um, some more rounds. Actually, you're making another batch of it, but okay, fine. Yeah, we get these artillery shells. So what I want to do out here is I'm going to put a shelf. Um, furniture. Small shelf. I guess I will make you out of something that's non-flammable. That seems like an okay idea. I know it's like right by the heat exhaust, but that doesn't matter. And then for storage, clear, critical, shells, explosive shells. 
Okay, and we don't have any other barrels. Although, what I might do is go ahead and plan for two more of these. They're not going to start collecting materials for this until they've got all the material. So until we get another reinforced barrel, these aren't going to get built. But we can remind ourselves, I'm, I don't think it blocks the wind turbine. I guess we'll find out once it gets built. At least these things can be moved. Oh, right. And these shells here, I want to make sure it's only high explosives to start off with. We'll manually make those adjustments as needed and then paste those settings. Thank you. Okay. It's going well. We still have the force weather. I like the force weather. And we're just dating a clean sweeper, which I like. Although things have been fairly neat. But in, in practice, it's because most of the kids can't do much. And so they spend most of their time cleaning if they're not recreating. So having the bot's still going to be useful. I don't think these stones being here are a problem. Steel mining work site. Oh, by Lelelium. I don't want to go and attack the Lelelium sites. What is this one here? Steel mining by a tribe. Now that's interesting because I think we are going to be looking. Oh, it's not even that tribe. It's Brega. Are the Brega people independent? Oh, right here. No, they are a gentle tribe. But I don't mind pissing off the tribe's people. It might be worth going and raiding this site. We've got good guns. We're just going through a sleep cycle. Survival meals exist. We don't have to go very far. We don't need a lot of survival meals. Although I am thinking of increasing this count. Maybe 50. For when we do want to make bigger trips. Bigger trips with lots of people really is the only thing. We could also, there's a mod you can do to quickly extract meals. You can do it here. You can have someone who's going to grab a meal, grab it. And then before they eat it, you recruit them. And then you can haul the meal away. But it's such annoying micro. Hello, bulk goods trader. I'm going to have Odette have a chat with you. Clean sweeper has been, micro, er, um, been uh, gestated. Cool. Then we're going to start on the lifter as well. Okay. I don't even think we need to give the walls restriction to the clean sweeper. Well, hang on. Maybe I will because... Um, what if we weirdly have a home area in the middle of nowhere for, you know, a temporary construction could cause issues. Okay. Not selling the package survival meals. We could sell off, like, why don't we sell off, like, all this rice? We still have tons of food. We're no longer sitting at 5,000 food, so it is dipping a little, but barely. Right? Um, oh, hell, you know what? We should sell these chicken eggs. They're actually worth quite a bit more. We're still going to have tons of food. We could turn some things around. That's going to be okay. We're going to buy these components. We're going to buy advanced components. We're not using them yet, but we're going to want them later. I mean, ideally, we might still want all the neutromine. We're going to sell the leathers, which are unlikely to be useful for something. We're still making money here, and we have some money. I can buy the steel. Oh, I could buy more reinforced barrels. That actually wouldn't be too bad. Now, now all of a sudden, we don't have enough money for this, but... We haven't even gone into, like, um, clothing and armor sales. Oh, you don't even have enough money for this. Hold on. Buy some chocolate. It's not much of it. You know what? We'll buy it. Our people deserve a little bit of chocolate. Toxic potato is new. I'm not going to buy chem fuel. Huh. I guess we will buy all your steel. There we go. I don't think I'm gonna buy dyes. In fact, how do we end up with all this dye? I never grew tinctura. That's not worth much. We'll keep it around. We we're way too expensive. There you go. That looks pretty good. All right. No, that was a very good deal. Falling should happen pretty quickly because there's a decent amount of idleness happening now. I don't have to worry about micromanaging that, I think. A little bit of maintenance going on, but again, things do decay quite a bit slower than they used to. Do I have any production things unlocked that I haven't put down yet? Purchase table, stove, interface, stone cutters we got, brewery. Oh, we could start growing some hops. Maybe I'll do that. 
smelter we got, tailoring bench, smithy, machining table, research, research. We'll need fermenting barrels, of course, which needs some amount of um, temperature control. Maybe I'll just send a bunch back here. I mean, we don't even have the hops yet, and this room isn't currently temperature controlled. Okay, let me wait. Maybe we'll throw just a barrel or two in here. I don't think we're going to do huge amounts of beer production, but we can use it for a boost. Hops, are you... Are you sensitive to fertility? Mm, 70%. You know, I don't know if I really care too much about the yield. I mean, it still represents a certain amount of time consumption. But let's do that much hops. Lifters being gestated. Sleeping in there. We're getting some lessons going on. Odette. Yeah, learning going hopefully fairly well. Unless died. You want Neuro Supercharger. Right. Still thinking of moving all this into the big room here, which I think is going to be fine. Yep, let's do it. Put you there. Here. Always worried when you're doing things with rotational symmetry. Sometimes you can get some shapes. We'll do that. Uh, good, 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 good. All right. Put that one there. And then what I'm doing is tear the space down and use this as our. Uh, I can't pack up these, huh? That's too bad. But I could put a heater in here. The idea that we might we might put the beer barrels in here. We don't want them to freeze. I don't they do have a max temperature, but it's fairly high. So it's probably okay. Um oh we have an excellent dresser. Cool. I'm gonna put you here. I think we'll link to all the beds. That one's only normal, so we're gonna trash it. Another excellent one. Oh, what do you have in this bedroom? Oh, poor dresser. There we go. And Smogger, could you quickly deconstruct this? Oh, the constructoid was doing it. Then this excellent dresser is going to be moved into Hope's room. Go ahead and move the dresser before you go to bed. Um, did you change your mind on that? Okay, well, the constructoid is doing it, so I guess that's fine. And yeah, I think that's affecting all the beds. Yeah, if it says anything about a limit number of beds, I don't see it. Comfort is being affected by the dresser. Yep, all right. Seems to be working. So, I don't even know if we need to keep the heater in here. You know what? Our research room doesn't have one. So let's throw that in there. Thanks, Constructoid. Deconstruct. <laughs> do this. We'll start putting some neural superchargers in there, which I do have, right? We did research those. Or not. We did not. All right. Put that in. With still fabrication first, I think, may be a good idea, actually, as it turns out. So we'll do this. Titanic assembly. Orbital power beam is crazy. Tornado's crazy. Death rest capacity serum. You know what? Nope, I'm fine. I'm gonna represent a fair amount of time and material sink that I don't want to deal with right now. So at some point, we are gonna let our, our wealth skyrocket intentionally. We might almost be there. Now, this room doesn't actually need beauty, but just for the sake of consistency. I'm going to marble tile it anyway. And yeah, our neural superchargers will end up going into this room. Do, do, do. We still have four unassigned beds. Okay. Double strand dusters are starting to come together. 
Mug, are you wearing a cape? Is that your preferred thing? You are wearing a cape. I don't think this role of maker... Oh, it does have the cape thing. Oh, shoot, okay, you know what? Since we have quite a few people who want it, this cape job, which is set to Devil Strand, yeah, I'm gonna go and say, do until X, where X is one, skill is 10, use good material. Okay, yeah, we'll keep, uh, we'll try to keep a Devil Strand cape around. Cause yeah, we've got at least three people who are one to wear capes. Oh no, spear as well. Reich's wearing one, I think. Oh, he's wearing tr no, he is wearing a cape, but he doesn't have to, he doesn't have a role for that. He's just arbitrarily decided it. Why are you wearing pants? We don't have any. I mean, we've got the material. I don't know. Maybe people are just swapping their clothes around right now. Okay. I mean, I could forbid the tribal wear or whatever, but I'm not, I'm not going to bother doing that. Research is a go. Again, that's on fabrication, which will be very useful. Got the weird power cable through the middle now, but that's okay. We'll leave it there. more of these shells oh yeah we did get the barrel so that finished we've got tons of components now yeah we got some some very good trade just happened lots of smoke leaf which we are going to start to make and we are going to allow people to use if their mood is low overall moods are good we might be able to go and let's get everyone into a single phase schedule now sophia still needs to be converted hope are you ready to go you are where's sophia Convert action. Go. I know the conversion ritual is lit on her screen, but it is actually disabled over here. Yeah, you're regaining your certainty very quickly because you're in such a great mood. And it's slower to convert you. We might just have to hope we get lucky with a masterful ritual that instantly does the job, unfortunately. Okay, well, this thing seems like a good time to stop. We're going to go ahead and do that. We've got... When we get the neural serve chargers, we'll start getting them down. People are going to start asking for rejuvenations and things like that. I think I might go and preemptively just go and clear this for what might be a big room. In fact, we might just turn this all into one big chamber for all the sort of biotech minded stuff, right? Or, well, it's not biotech, a lot of it's ideology, but the neural superchargers, the rejuvenation pods, which is all going to shoot up our wealth, but in a way that theoretically is going to be very useful for keeping our people happy and strong. But I would also like to start doing the genetic stuff. We've got, oh yeah, this gene assembler. Hang on, if I were to take a look. Oh no, it does use the entire gene pack. Is pollution stimulus a problem? Chemical rush exposed makes them faster and helps them think clearer. Yeah, so it reduces our metabolic efficiency. So it's one we don't actually care to have. But robust is very good. Reducing our efficiency more, which means we're going to eat more food. And actually, our food count did just go down a bunch. Which might be fine. Or maybe what I want to do is actually consider growing more rice. Or corn. Maybe I'll do corn just for the work efficiency. Of course, it has 100% fertility sensitivity, so... I mean, it'll grow fine on, like, the normal soil. But to get maximum bang for our buck, we're going to go and just plant it on this rich soil for now. I think overall we're okay. We might be generating too much cotton. We could also grow some potatoes. I mean, potatoes will grow on, like, the trash territory and not actually care about it, but... Overall, I'm okay. Again, I might want to greenhouse the uh, Devil Strand, but things are working fine so far. Got a little bit more stuff over here. I mean, we're not we're not hurting for food. I could calculate, so the based on the number of colonists I have, 14, what's our growing period in this world? We, there's a period in the winter we may not be able to grow, right? Technically a 10-day period. Um, it might not kill the plants unless there's a cold snap. So we might grow year-round. I would say, so I mean, on safe side, you get 20 tiles. Although, as you get better growers... Things get better and better, and then with less things. But let's say 20 tiles of food per colonist. So um, we'd be looking for 280 tiles of food, right? And so what I could do is go and find all of my growing zones. So this is a rice one. So that's 38, and then just keep adding things together to figure out how much we're going. There's another 53. 
45, so 38, 50, 38. So let's call that 90 plus another 40. So that brings us to 130. And then we've got this corn over here, which is another 47. What did I say 130? So about 180. So it feels like we probably will. Oh, but we also we're getting some meat in. I mean, we did just call a bunch, but it's still going to happen because we are growing some animals. We're getting milk from it as well. We might, we actually might be in an okay balance thing. Although as we do the genetic stuff, we will consume more food. Makes me think we might want to do a little bit more than that. Is there anything I want to trim back on? It's also possible that I, I missed the growing area, but I don't think so. Um, we've got, we actually definitely don't need to grow more heal root. Looks like that number's coming quickly, although, you know, that can go very fast as well. I could just fill this entire area up with rice, even though it's not all... I mean, I might ignore that little thing. Um, it's close to the base, which means we get a lot of efficiency this way. Sure, the rice will not grow as quickly in every one of those places. But maybe I'll do that, and then I'm still... I can still sell off extra food should it come up. There we go. We'll do that. There we go. That's growing to 95. Now, I'm, I'm sure, especially with all the meat and everything like that, we can probably keep it. There's not... um. It's not like a trend line for food that we can track in this game, huh? Uh, select graph? No. Okay. That would be kind of useful, but... I suspect we're probably close to treading water on this, and increasing the food count is just going to cause it to skyrocket again, but we can always sell off excess, right? Just keep a certain amount as a buffer for safety, and then sell off the rest. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.